Hi, I'm Professor Erratically Me. I'm going to show you how I believe I can make this ball spin by itself just using energy. No petrol, no batteries, no gas, no solar power, like the wheel on your car basically to turn and run your car without any paying fuels. How can I do that? How could your car run forever without any cost? Well, I think I've worked it out and I'm going to show you. First of all, I believe using magnetic energy to make the wheel or the ball spin to velocity forever. You want to slow it down, just put your brakes on. Using magnets, that's right. Over here I've got a neodymium magnet which I believe if you use two magnets, when the two magnets come together, as you know, they will get to a point where they'll repel each other. As they repel, there's pressure going, there's pressure, you can't hold the two magnets together. Well, you can, but you know what I mean, that there's, they're pushing against each other and then they slide over the top of each other. So how could I encapsulate that energy and hold it in this position where they're both trying to push against each other and, and go away from each other. So what I did, created a resin puck, resin and catalyst to make it go hard. Put a magnet, oh this is an organite, but either way, I've created two pucks, one with a magnet here and the other puck with a magnet in the opposite area so they're both pushing against each other, so they will spin. Are you with me? Do you think that would work? Because now the energy, which is this puck here, I've got this side here, with the neodymium magnet there, that's just organite, I've made an organite thing at the same time. But, there's your magnet. Like right now, I can make that spin without touching it. So why I created, now I've created two sides to this. A magnet on this side and a magnet on this side. That's full of copper. Both pushing against each other. And I've glued the two pucks together to make it, well, as round as I could for a first stage experiment. I thought... Once this was encapsulated and stuck together, the pressure of the magnets would make it spin. Ah, uh, yeah, I was wrong. It didn't spin. But, I thought, if I put this out there, surely, I can't see how it couldn't work. I don't see why it doesn't work. Like, if I was to put, hold this in thin air right now, or with, the metal, with a slight metal bar through it, so this is in the air, and had a magnet underneath, so what could I do to make, make a wheel spin? just using magnets. As you can see here, the puck's moving, so if I had a magnet down, because this didn't work now, I'm thinking if I had a magnet down low and a magnet in this puck here at the right height, it will just continually rotate when the magnet gets to the opposite magnet and just continually spin it. So therefore the wheels in your car would continually spin and go forward. That's right, I couldn't go back. I'm finding my own flaws in my own theories. But either way, it's about having a wheel that can spin continuously just using magnets. This one here didn't work on this occasion, but I've started something. I believe it can work. Now, if you can create the wheel that can spin, you can put flaps on it and propel water. Moving water creates energy. Like I said, you can have it on, a, on your car to move the car forward. There's so many things that that could be used for. No need for a windmill because this would be propelling and making the windmill spin without the wind. A thousand things to make that ball roll just using magnets. And it can be used in so many different ways. So anyway, I've been Professor Erratic, genius, or idiot. Leave it for you to decide.